Welcome to The Prince Eats. Here's a quick video for fail-proof red wine braised short ribs that you can prepare right at home. Once your braiser or pot is hot, go ahead and add your oil. Even braising the short ribs is simple. You want to brown them on both sides. Don't worry about cooking them all the way through. There's going to be plenty of time for that later on. You want to make sure once it's cooked, transfer them to another plate. Add your veggies and cook them for a few minutes. Salt and pepper. Add tomato paste and flour and bring it all together for a few minutes. Here's the part where you add your red wine. Um, here I have some radius. You really can choose any red wine that you want. Just make sure it's dry. Also, I recommend that you use a Cabernet Sauvignon. The same kind of red wine that you would drink is the same one that you would want to use for your short ribs. We're using beef stock as well. Here you add your red wine. My rule of thumb, cook it until you can no longer smell the alcohol. Add the broth and bring it to a slight boil. Add your beef back into the braiser. Add your bay leaves, thyme and rosemary. Cover and place it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for two and a half to three hours. No need to check on it, just let it do its thing in the oven. When you bring it out of the oven, you are done. As you can see here, it's very tender. It falls off the bone with very little effort. One thing I recommend is to let the pot sit for a little bit, which will allow the gravy to thicken. I like it to be a gravy consistency. You'll know when it's ready. This is a fail-proof process that you can do on a weeknight. This covered dinner for two nights, and I served it over a creamy risotto. This is the first and the second night. And just like that, dinner is served. Visit theprinceeats.com for more simple and easy meal ideas just like this one.